Hey guys, so today I want to check out the new iOS 7 update for the iPhone 5. So I did just install it over here. Uh, this is how it looks like. Yes, it's a pretty, pretty intense update uh, compared to earlier iOS updates. This is a or re, uh, Apple have really, really redesigned how uh, iOS looks like, especially all the icons that they have totally changed here. Uh, you no longer have uh, the search option when you go to the left side, but you can now just swipe like that to uh, bring that one up. Uh, so they removed that and then you do have your you still have the normal uh, Pages here with all of your apps. You don't have an app drawer uh, You still have when we go down like this You can see that they've changed a little bit in education center here to use the big calendar here and then some stocks I'm not really sure if you can fully customize this, but it uh, definitely looks pretty interesting here You can see that the font and the everything is totally changed as well and they also, uh, let's see here if we can take a look here. You can see, you can see now how it looks. You also see those animations uh, that is changed when you go in and out of apps. Uh, so a, a total new update over there. Um, I'm not sure if I like it or if it feels a little bit slow. I mean, this is probably the beta version right now. Uh, the beta version of iOS 7. Uh, so of course it probably will maybe will get updated. Okay, so you can see here we can change stuff in the notification center. Uh, if you want to have today's view, uh, what we uh, want to include here, which is pretty awesome. And uh, if you go back here, you can see how it looks. Uh, so all of the icons in here as well have been totally, totally changed. So there's some pretty big updates here. You can see here you can go from the side. Maybe you could have done that uh, earlier as well. Uh, let's have a quick little look here at how the multitasking uh, looks like at the moment. So they totally changed this one as well to the better if you would ask me. So when you open up different apps here, let's open up a few different apps. Wow. Safari is really, really re, uh, remade, I suppose you could call it. Uh, I will take a look at more, uh, probably in depth, uh, in specific apps. Uh, but uh, now when we have opened up a few apps, and now when you go to the multitasking area, this is how it looks like. So first you do have all of your apps here uh, on this page, but then you have your apps here, which is larger now uh, than that tiny little thing that you did see at the bottom uh, on earlier versions of iOS. So pretty sweet here that you can quickly swipe here to remove stuff. Uh, and I think that they seem to have been uh, solving this in a pretty, pretty cool way. Uh, you still have Siri, so let's see here. What's up? So you can see, uh, is, there, is there work, Siri? Uh, right now though, I'm not sure about if the Wi-Fi works or if it could be my carrier that's a little bit slow. Uh, this is also how the lock screen looks like. You can see that they've totally remade that. I'm not sure if I do like the gradient theme. It looks a little bit random to me. Uh, I might get used to it though. Uh, you can see here that they do have a cool thing that you finally get some toggles here. Uh, some nice toggles here on the lock screen uh, for uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, air airplane. And then also you have a brightness slider here, which definitely is nice. You have your sound here if you're playing sound with some very, very nice, nice graphics here, which is really cool. Uh, you do have some quick things here that you can have a flash. Uh, there you have the compass here, which you can, no, not compass, but the, the clock uh, that you can fire up. And what else do we have? Let's see. You can also see here that the animation, I mean, it's totally changed. And instead of going from an instant to turn on the screen, it's a little bit like more smooth. Uh, when we also check out some other things here, you can see you have the iPhone speaker here, air, airdrop, context only. Uh, if you would have music, just play that and change to the song. Uh, we have a quick access to the camera and also the calculator. Uh, so the camera app also has been totally overhauled and, and remade. Uh, into a pretty pretty interesting UI here uh, with panorama mode, a square mode, a photo mode, a HDR mode as well and also the video mode here. Uh, still very very uh, easy 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 UI. Uh, also when we take a look at some other things in here uh, we can see here that you do have the clock up here at the top side. Uh, we do have also a quick little button here so we can, we can launch the camera even even quicker if we would 
want to do that. So that, that is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, do we have anything more uh, on, on the lock screen here? Um, let's see here. Uh, you can still also go down from the top here as well uh, while you are on the lock screen. And also this is pretty cool that when you swipe here, if we would swipe instantly to the left, we would just instantly uh, unlock the device. And then you, you can still have your, your pages here. And like really, really every single app here has been upgraded uh, to, to this new kind of UI here, which uh, was a pretty, pretty cool move uh, from Apple. Uh, they really, really changed the design and uh, they seem to be making some pretty, pretty nice updates. And uh, Apple has been, we've been waiting for this to happen, to them to make something that's pretty nice. Uh, this this uh, iOS uh, update will of course not come at the moment, but it will come a little bit later. Uh, but, it, but it definitely is an interesting update. And I'll probably take a look at uh, more of an in-depth video on uh, the different various things here with iOS. Uh, but I, I really, really do like this, that they made it a little bit more nice here, that you don't have instantly search here to the left, even though that was nice. Now you just have that, just you swipe. Uh, down like that and then you do have the keyboard uh, which is also a little bit different here compared to uh, earlier so it definitely looks pretty cool in here so you can see that it has a new font and everything i don't hear any vibrations maybe we do have that in the settings area uh, so let's just see clock you have a quick little list here of applications and i do like with apple that you can scroll up and down and you get that kind of like bouncy 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 effect um i'm really sure i mean we do see some lag now in the ios in the uh, at, at least on my iphone 5 here uh, so hopefully the next iphone will solve that and that is something that i mean we haven't seen that much lag on the iphone uh but it, of course it will come more and more um uh, the more the more animations that you do get you still don't have uh, the option to have different widgets so that, that could be something good to know. And I really don't like at the moment the small little lag that you see sometimes, uh, but this is like the same lag that you would see sometimes also uh, in the S4, maybe a little bit less in the S4, and hopefully they will bring out an update to that as well. Uh, we can also take a quick little look here at apps, uh, like the, the clock app here. Uh, the Safari browser definitely looks interesting here. Uh, even more smooth here. I've been uh, talking about this in earlier videos that I just want to have a big fat bar here at the top and it definitely looks like the, the new iOS or the Safari browser inside of the iPhone uh, is pretty insane, uh, pretty, pretty insane update. And then also if we continue on here, we do have the normal game center here. And uh, sometimes, I mean, I like colors, so I do like it that they made it a little bit more colorful. I'm not really sure if I do like the full, I, 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 I'll probably, I think that most people will get used to this update, uh, but it looks, definitely looks a lot cartoonish feeling. And uh, I really didn't expect Apple to do this. Uh, it, it really feels like Apple does make a sick ass update, but probably they felt that they, they, they needed to go out and bring out something that was pretty unique and pretty cool. Uh, you can see here at the top how it looks like, totally rearranged here. You see that have that kind of like black theme at the top, uh, which definitely is pretty interesting. Um, and then also, of course, we do have the normal Apple Maps in here. What else do we have? We do have the weather app. Uh, we do have our normal photo section here and uh, let's see here we have a compass here as well so if you are if you are in the woods and if you want to use that then of course you can do that too you can see here how the, the calling uh, how the calling please looks like and let's see here if we can there we go, you, you, you just take normal pictures there as you always have. And uh, let's see here, normal uh, switch there is working. Uh, we do have our note section here. And the, every single app here, which I do like, every single app, uh, app seems to have been updated uh, with new iOS. And that is definitely something that I do, do, do enjoy that Apple didn't just update iOS, but uh, they also update a lot of apps. So of course there's a lot of things to go over. Uh, I still would say that it's still pretty easy. 
uh, is still pretty pretty uh, easy easy to go here you still doesn't have a full control of course uh, see here control center uh, if you want to have some access to some cool things in here let's see if we go down the settings area almost looks the same, uh, but of course they have they have some new things in here as well. And um, I might be making separate videos on new cool things that I do find about this update. It is a nice update, but right now it's only available for developers. Uh, but hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you want to see anything specific uh, with the new iOS 7, please let me know about that. And I will see what I can do in a new video. And uh, yeah, have a good day. You still don't have that option to remove all the apps when you're multitasking, something that you'll probably see in the future. But I'm, I'm curious what you think um, about the, the colors and the icons and everything. Uh, it really is a different update. I mean, they really, really uh, made a massive change. So it will be interesting to see how most the majority of people will take this update. I mean, at, at the end, everyone will get used to it. Uh, but I never thought actually Apple would do this update uh, because it's so so different compared to earlier updates. But yeah, quickly look here at iOS 7 for the iPhone 5. Peace.